Hi guys, what we are going to build today? Well, this is Heller's 100 scale Aerospatial Gazelle, or just Gazelle. If you ask me which is my favorite airplane, I can't tell a specific type of an airplane, because there is too many of them what I like. But if you ask me which is my favorite helicopter of all time, the answer is the Gazelle. I think the Gazelle is the prima donna of the helicopters. What we have here on the desk is an old model kit. The box wears 20 or 30 years of storing damage. I bought it this way. But it is never opened. And yes, you see right, it comes with a small bottle of glue. I will not use this glue by the assembly of the kit. But I wonder if it still works after those years. And here are the decals. But I will not use them either, because I want to build the Hungarian HA LFO Gazelle, which is shown on the picture. The instruction is a bit generic, but it is usable. The kit consists only 20 parts. Let's see what we can do. Let's see the state of the glue. I think it is still usable. The small bottle preserved the content well. Remarkable. But back to the build. This is Christmas candy wire. In my home country, these wires are used to hang candy to a Christmas tree. But not for me, I'm diabetic. Now these wires became to the Gazelle's control sticks. And as usual, if you like my work, you know what to do. This instrument panel decal is not part of the original kit. I found it somewhere on my magic shelf. Don't forget, never throw away old decals because sometimes they come handy for another kit. The easiest upgrade on every model kit is reeling out the pipe light parts and the air intakes. It costs nothing, but it looks much better. And this step is the preparation for the paintwork. I used the same method like last time. I covered the clear parts with parafilm and I cut out the lines with the scalpel. 
After that I remove the not needed parts of the parafilm. By the way, the parts in general fit nicely together. Probably the biggest weakness of the kit is the fitting between the grey and the clear parts. And we are at the finish line. The gazelle is ready to display. What was it like building this old kit? It was joyful. These old kits has its own charm. I don't know that the younger modelers feel the same as I do, or these are thoughts of a sentimentalist middle-aged modeler, but I hope not. Please tell me in the comment section, do you like old school model kits? Thank you for watching.